This video is sponsored by VIPSCDKey.com. VIPSCDKey is a marketplace website where you can purchase game keys and software keys with no hassle. VIPSCDKey offers a legit Windows 10 Pro key for only $21. This is the same case I use on my PC builds. But to make it more awesome, they will be giving another 25% discount. Just type our coupon code XTNC to get it for only $15. You now have your legit Windows 10 key license all set, but in a more affordable price. If you're in the Philippines, purchasing is very easy. You can use PayPal, Paymaya, or GCash. Visit VIPSCDKey.com now. I'll put the link in the video description below. So thank you VIPSCDKey.com for sponsoring this video. So another B760 na motherboard. So this time man, is from ASUS. So guys, uh, if you're planning to build a ROG team na gaming PC powered by the Intel 13th generation na CPU and planning without overclocking it, so this is the perfect motherboard for you. So in this video guys, unbox natin tong ROG Strix B760F gaming Wi-Fi motherboard ni ROG. Nabuksan ko lang ito kanina, sinilip ko lang and may pagka retro vibe. Ayun uh, design. So, mamaya guys, we'll take a closer look dito sa pogging design uh, ng ROG Strix B760-F. Okay, so let's unbox. Alright, so here's the ROG Strix B760-F gaming Wi-Fi. So, it says here, uh, support siya ng Intel Core na mga 13th generation and 12th generation na CPUs ni Intel sa B760 chipset. Uh, this is a DDR5 na memory guys and this is a LGA1700 socket. Uh, this supports a PCIe 5.0, RSync and Wi-Fi 6E. Okay, so at the back uh, you can see here uh, the motherboard and the uh, uh, main or key features uh, nitong motherboard uh, na B660. Dash F. Yeah, bubulul na ako. Okay, let's open the box. Check that. Oh, pala. So, for my next build, guys, ang gagamitin kong processor uh, is the Intel Core i5-13600. So, this is a non overclocking na motherboard and will use a uh, non overclocking na CPU ni Intel. So, what we have here is the Wi Fi antenna, magnetic po yan. Check first the accessories na included dito sa box. First is the ROG uh, keychain, two SATA cables, some of the extras like yung thermal pad for the M.2, uh, additional padding then uh, for the M.2, and additional Q-latch or yung mechanism uh, for the M.2 then. Uh, documentation and manual uh, right here, and yung uh, stickers or yung mga angas na stickers ni ROG. Alright, so let's check natin. Motherboard, medyo mabigat siya guys actually. Ayan. Very nice looking uh, motherboard guys. Ang ganda nung design actually yung, ayan, may, may, may pagka-design mga retro. Ayan, yung mga stickers right here and dito. Some of you, baka hindi magustuhan yung mga rainbow ayan, sa stickers. Ayan. And, and I think uh, this portion is nag illuminate uh, for the uh, RGB uh, lighting. And I also like yung pagka-cut out nitong I.O. Shroud. This is plastic and this is heatsink uh, ng VRM. I like that, ano, yung design nila. Alright, so let's take a closer look yung mga connectors and ports or I.O. Uh, nitong gaming motherboard ni ROG. Alright, so yeah, taking a closer look guys. So this is a 1700 socket. Check mo na natin yung socket. So check natin kung may bend pin. Closer look. Okay, clear tile. Check nyo yung itong heatsink. It has a beefy heatsink na may mga printout na mga you know, retro uh, logo dito. Ayan, ROG Strix. And also yung extended heatsink uh, dito. Yung cutout. I love this design. Yung ginawa ni ROG to. This is plastic. Ayan, plastic yan. And ito yung uh, heatsink niya. Okay. So, ito, I think this is uh, nag-illuminate to. Ayan, may RGB illumination uh, right here. So, put it sa top, guys. So, it has a 8 plus 4 pin for the EPS power connectors. Uh, para yan sa CPU power power nito. Ayan. And uh, for the CPU fan header, ito. Then, beside nun is the CPU optional header. Tapos, inahanap ko yung CPU or yung pump AIO nilagay nila dito. 
So may dalawang header dito. This is the pump AIO. And ito naman is the another additional chassis fan header right here. So para lang sa akin, uh, I'm not a fan of naglalagay ng header dito sa gilid. Dati kasi meron talaga dito talaga dati. But for routing ng kable, if you're using or maglalagay kayo ng AIO dito kasi may excess na mga kable yun. So, saan mo siya lalagay dito? Or dito? So, baka kasi makita na or hindi siya maganda tingnan. So, para lang naman yun sa akin guys. Kasi may mga excess yan, mahaba yan eh. Mas maganda sana kung talagang nilagay na nila dito sa taas. So, kung ayaw nyo magkabit dito, pwede naman ilagay dito sa uh, optional na CPU header or fan header. Yeah. Next is the uh, three pin addressable five volts. Meron po tayong dalawa dito. So this is the 24 pin. Uh, next naman is the USB 3.2 uh, Gen 2 USB front panel. Ito naman is the USB 3.2 Gen 1. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Meron tayong four sockets or rather four SATA cables or connector na naka right angle dito. This is the PCH. Okay, so nakita niyo yung button dito. So this is the PCIe Q latch or yung uh, pagpipindutin mo na siya if ever uh, gusto nyo tanggalin or ipopull nyo na yung GPU nyo. Uh, mas maganda tong uh, feature na to. Ito nga, si, I think si Asus ang pinaka nauna tong feature na to. For example, naglagay ka ng uh, beefy na heatsink or tower heatsink. ba guys, hindi nyo naaabot tong lever na to. So, ang maganda dito is pipindutin mo na lang to. Then, pull na lang yung graphics card. Like before, pinipindot pa namin yan. Or yung ito. So, ginagamitan pa namin ng stick. So ngayon, pindot na lang kami. Asus number one. Okay. This PCIe is ports a PCIe uh, 5.0. Uh, this M.2 is 4.0 lang. And another right here. 4.0 lang to. Supports M.2. Tapos to is Gen 3. Yun nga, ulitin ko lang Gen 5. So sa bottom naman tayo uh, for the connector. Ayan. So this is for the front panel. Uh, connector right here, additional chassis fan, 1, 2. Next is the TB or Thunderbolt header right here. Next is USB port, 1, 2. Tapos meron tayong additional na 5 volts or 3 pin addressable and 4 pin. So isa lang. So kung nakita ko nina, meron dalawa sa taas. So total of 3. Tapos meron siyang 4 pin na RGB or 12 volts. So next naman is additional chassis fan right here and the audio uh, connector right here. Okay, so I did remove the heatsink. So we have a uh, three M.2 slots. It's a dito. So this is a Gen 4. Lad po siya. Gen 4, 1, 2, 3. So try natin. So guys, this meron po siyang uh, Q latch. Hindi na kayo gagamit ng screwdriver. Wait lang. Yeah, ganyan. Para mapibilis yung pagbibuild nyo. So let's check the input and output. So meron na po siyang uh, pre-installed na I.O. shield. And meron po tayo ditong uh, display port, HDMI uh, for the built-in graphics uh, ni Intel. Diyan lang po ikakabit dyan. Let's say nasira yung GPU nyo and gusto nyo munang gamitin uh, yung built-in graphics ni Intel or yung processor nyo. Uh, you can plug or yung cable nyo dito yeah, for the display output. So 4 or 6 rather, USB 3.2 Gen 1. Tapos meron po tayo ditong USB 3.2 uh, Gen 2. Uh, that's 10 gigabits per second. Ito naman is the USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 na 20 gigabits per second USB-C. So meron tayong 2.5 gigabit LAN and a clear CMOS button and a BIOS uh, flashback uh, button right here. So next is the Wi-Fi coaxial antenna. Uh, that's Wi-Fi 6E. And next is for the high definition audio with SVDIF out uh, right here. So pakita ko lang guys uh, yung design ng back. Ah, uh, ba? Okay. Actually, wala siyang backplate. Uh, yung design lang, yung printout lang uh, dito sa may likod. Okay. Yun, Christian, how much? So, it retails mga nasa 17 to 18,000 uh, pesos. So, last check ko, 70,500 uh, pesos po siya. Okay. So, yeah. There you have it, guys. Ito lang po yung unboxing ko ng ROG Sticks. B760-F gaming motherboard or gaming Wi-Fi motherboard ni ROG. So yeah, there you have it. Thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Action. So like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.